Hello again. Matt's on the move. My rideshare warrior family. <laughs> Sorry, road warrior family. Not everybody's gonna do rideshare. I know I'm not doing it no more. Not unless the uh, the incentive is gonna be good. Anyways, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that I learned a long time ago in call centers, and that is um, opening statements, closing statements. So let's talk about opening statements right now. Um, opening statements are a great way to introduce yourself to the customer or the client, whatever you want to call them, and let them know who you are, what you're about, and what they can expect from you. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little screen recording of me doing a uh, typical, because I do this on every single delivery that I do, and it changes from platform to platform what I put in there, um, but they're all basically the same, something, 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 my name is Matthew, I'm your whatever today. And I'm a disabled Navy veteran. Thank you for your order, such and such. I'll give you any updates about any issues that may occur type of thing, you know? You just wanna kinda of like keep it short and sweet, but also make sure that they understand what's going on and who you are. All right, so I've pulled up to Target now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in that screen recording and then uh, once I load up, I'll show you guys how I also do the closing. And what I do is keyboard replacements in my iPhone so that I just tap, tap, tap a couple of letters depending on what app it is, is what letters I tap. And um, then I can just fill in the name from there and hit send. So anyways, here it is. All right, as you can see, I'm in the messaging part using a keyboard shortcut. Type in DDO or DD, select the right one, and then just go to the part right there in between hello and the emoticon and type in the customer's name. Super sweet and simple. back in my car that was pretty easy about 10 minutes worth of my time the longest part of it was figuring out that replacement which what I do with replacements is pretty simple I let them know hey I don't have it I also don't have your substitution requests whatever it may be and uh and I ask them like, you know, what would you like? Uh, a different brand maybe, or anything else by the same brand? And then they say yay, nay, or other. And from there, I go ahead and get them whatever they request, or give them a refund if there's nothing. Pretty simple. Then you'll see I sent my closing statement just to kind of give them a heads up that, hey, I'm done, I'm on my way. You can see on the, uh, you can see that on the uh, GPS. Sorry, idiot drivers in my area. And, uh, you know, again, if there's any issues, I'll let you know. Uh, let me know what to expect, if there's a gate code, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, look, communication, no matter what it is in life, it's the key to success. You want to communicate good in business. You want to communicate good in relationships and so on and so forth. You know, if you're in class and you're not uh, doing well in that particular class, uh, let's say it's history and you're just not getting it. Uh, what are you going to do? Just keep doing the same thing. That's the definition of insanity, doing the exact same thing and expecting different results, right? So what do you do? You communicate. 
you know, communicate with your boss, communicate with your coworkers, communicate with your customers, communicate with your spouse, your teachers, your preachers, your pastors, whatever, right? Communicate with the universe, whatever it may be. Anyways, that's ultimately why I do it. Uh, I definitely learned about a good way to put together a uh, introduction, introductory statement and closing statement from other uh, YouTube creators. I just kind of took it and went with it, tweaked it, you know, made it my own. That's what you guys should do. I also highly recommend it. Not only will it increase your rating, but in my case, it's definitely, definitely, definitely increased my tips. All right, that's enough of that. We're gonna go get to work. I'm gonna go drop this off, see what else we can get. And uh, I'll hit you guys with some more stuff if I can. If not, peace out. All right, let's go ahead and send that closing statement. Typing in DDC. That's what I got it for DoorDash. Just did a hotel delivery. Now let's go on to the next one. Our Real Warrior family, what's up? What's happening? Yeah. So, just got done doing that. Those four deliveries. Everything went fine. Definitely better. Then stuff went during the lunch shift. Let me tell you, uh, I got a picture to share with you guys about this crazy DoorDash order that I delivered. Actually, turns out that uh, when I showed up, there was Imperial Ambulance right there. And they were actually working on somebody inside of the house I was delivering to. So, DoorDash delivery goes awry, I guess. Anyways. Uh, I was able to make the delivery, you know, I let them know, hey, I'm here, I'm just doing a delivery, is that, that okay? And they said, cool beans, bro, go on and deliver that food, yo. So I did, and it was good, got to leave there, but definitely prayers to the people in that house, hopefully everything turned out all right. Now let's go see if we can get a couple more orders in, or maybe we'll just Call it, call it good for tonight and head to the gym. Gonna get in a nice little workout. Gotta go to the gym tomorrow too. Gonna get another workout with my trainer. Uh, gonna get swole, bro. Swole, bro. Gains. Gains. Anyways. Alright, Matt's on the move. Over and out.